Similar to what happens with spatial planning of a region or a city, there is also a spatial planning inside the cell with terrible consequences to the organism when something fails. Inside a cell, there are several microscopic structures that execute different functions to allow the normal functioning of the cell and ultimately of the organism. When cells divide, those structures have to multiply so that new cells are fully equipped. Among those structures are the centrioles, essential for the functioning of cilia, present in some cells like sperm, or to the formation of structures involved in the distribution of chromosomes during cell division. If the number or place where new centrioles form is wrong, cells can become dysfunctional and cause serious problems to the organism, such as cancer. But how can the cell control its own planning? In a study published in the scientific journal Developmental Cell, Monica Ptencourdia's research group at the Instituto Gulbenkian de Ciencia unravels the mechanisms controlling the place where new centrioles are formed. Although it was known that the formation of these new structures occurred next to pre-existing centrioles, the reason for this preferential localization remained unknown. The IGC scientists show that the formation of new centrioles depends on the activation of a protein named PLK4 and saw that the pre-existing centrioles can recruit and accumulate that protein. Normally, cells don't have much PLK4 protein, and old centrioles function as a natural PLK4 accumulator. This allows the presence of more molecules of this protein in this area than in any other region in the cell, thus facilitating its activation. However, if PLK4 amount in the cell is more than normal, the centriole will recruit and accumulate more of this protein, leading to the formation of extra centrioles. Also, if there is too much of PLK4 protein, in addition to forming centrioles around the pre-existing one, PLK4 can now accumulate, activate and form new centrioles anywhere else in the cell. This can have serious consequences for the cell and the organism.